Katie Fife, and I'm currently a student at Teal College taking a course called Integrating Instructional Systems. Today I'll be teaching a standards-based lesson in math based on the Common Core Standards, and I hope that you enjoy my lesson. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. My little second graders. If you guys can remember, all week we've been working on coins, right? We learned all the names of them, how much they're worth, how you would write them. So today is going to be our review day before our test tomorrow. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to give you guys two sheets that you guys can use later on, just so you have them right now. We just want to pass them around to each other. Who remembers, don't say it out loud, just think in your head, the names of these coins. And whenever you guys think you remember them, give me a thumbs up. Did everyone get those right? We remember, we learned about quarter, dime, nickel, and the penny. Who can remember how much they're worth? Whenever you think you know one of them, raise your hand. Tanner. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Very good. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Jackie, can you name another one? The dime is worth 10 cents. Very good. A dime is worth 10 cents. Can anyone tell me how much this one's worth? Kelsey? It's worth 5 cents. 5 cents. Good. Can anyone get the last one? Elisa? One. 1 cent. Let's see. Very good. Now, as you guys remember, whenever you're writing cents, you don't use the dollar sign. It looks like the S. We use a C and put a line straight down. Does everyone remember that? Very good. One thing that I want you guys to really remember is our touch points. Every star is worth five. So if you guys get confused on your test tomorrow, if you're on the quarter, you can count five, 10, 15, 20, 25. A dime is five and 10, a nickel is five, and then the penny, we just swipe underneath this one big one, so it's only worth one. Do you guys remember that part? Very good. So this is how we write our numbers of our coins. If the coins are under a dollar, you can either write it with the S, with a zero, and don't forget our little decimal friend, and then you write the amount, or you can just use the C with the line through, just write the cents. If it's over a dollar, does anyone remember how many quarters do you need to make a dollar? Melissa? Four, very good. So if it's over a dollar, you write one, and then the amount left with the other coins, and you use our friendly S. So, what we're going to do is you guys are going to come up and write the amounts of some coins. Now I'm going to call on you. You guys can just write right underneath. So I'm going to get these ready first. Jackie, you can go first. <laughs> so if you're going to be counting these ones and writing the total, just wherever you want on the page. Right here? Wherever you want. And you can write it however you want. Does everyone agree with her? Do you think she's right? Let's count. Let's use our touch points. You guys count, use your fingers in the air as I do it on the board. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67. You're right. Very good. Lizzie, you can come on up. up if we think it is worth $8.28. It is worth $1.28. Very good work, Melissa. Don't forget to be writing this down on your sheets also. It's a tricky one. There's a lot of coins. Let's count together. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. Count up. 75. So you were close, it's just like that a nine, it was 79. Fun little quiz. And we're going to use 
our clickers. The barrel can take one and pass them around. If you want to write them down to try to remember them later, you can, or you can use the answer on your clicker. So this is our first one. I want you guys to use your touch points and try to figure out the answer. There's A, B, C, or D. Very good. It was B. It was 52 cents. Let's see, you guys got it all right. It was a dollar and nine cents. Very good. Waiting on one more. There we go. You guys can go ahead and answer. See how we did on this one. Almost everyone got that right but once. So let's go back and review this one and double count. Use your touch points. Everyone put your fingers up in the air and count with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. There you go. Very good, class. The answer was 49. This will be our last question of the quiz. This is just a preparation for tomorrow. It's kind of tricky, so make sure you guys are really counting using your touch points. Very good. Let's see how we did on this one. Very good. Everybody got that one right. Is there any questions before we move on? And we have our quiz tomorrow on coins, how to write them, how to count them, or what they're called. All right, very good. Thank you, class.